Hey there everyone, Mazarok here, and today is the Great Vault, the Vault of Greatness, the Vault of Great Loots, January 17th. And I'm talking it up because I've had several okay to bad vaults in the last little while, and we're going to get a good one. So I figure if I put it out in the world and I call it amazing things, I'll get amazing things in returns. <laughs> in return, I don't know, but let's try it out. This week, we're going to flip the order. We're going to be doing the lowest amount of vaults to the highest amount of vaults ending in Warrior. So we're going to be starting on Druid. This has definitely been... Um, I did one queue on Druid last week, and it was a crap shoot and a half. Uh, it was absolutely hilarious. But here we have the Lost Land Callers Antlers, which is a piece of tier that is replacing a 343. This is actually huge. Uh, so very happy there. And which leads me into the topic of this t of today's vault video, because uh, I always try and have so some sort of topic, and that is, man, the inspiration catalyst is taking way too long. Like, holy jeez, it's taking way too long. It's only it's getting here next week. So for those of you that have no tier or don't do any raid content whatsoever, you're only going to be able to get it next. Your first piece next week. That's honestly, look, I get time gating it to a degree. And the first time that we had the vault during an active raid tier, because you can't count season four because it was all three faded, so they just kind of gave it to us at the start, which made total sense. It was eight weeks. And eight weeks was extraordinarily too long. And now they went down to six weeks. And I can get that. Okay, I can. I don't. I still think it's too much. I honestly think maybe four weeks. Before you get your first charge. Because you got to remember, it's not just the opening of the vault where you can just immediately make four piece. It's just one. Right? That's the only one you have. Uh, so this is Vengeance Demon Hunter. I'm opening up in Havoc because I have a tank trinket. Uh, I have a full normal raid done. And I have Mythic Plus. I think I did four runs late. So we're going to see what we got. We got a 395 Fist of the Grand Summoner. We have 389 Crit Haste uh, Feats. We have Tear Shoulders at 398 Crit Verse. Ooh, that's not too, too bad. We have a 411 Chest that's also Tear, but I have 395 Tear, right? And then we have a 395 Haste Mastery Helm. Okay, so when it comes to Tear, I have two piece. I have Pants and I have Chest. Honestly, I'm gonna take the 398 because this way it opens up gloves or helm for tier, and then I'll really be able to kind of solidify the four piece here. Really, if I get unlucky, which I probably I don't think I'm gonna be like I've got D and D tonight, so I don't think I'm gonna be raiding uh, like much this week. I'm gonna be doing my normal raid prog and stuff like that, but I I want to get a lot of keys done this week. My warrior needs a lot <laughs> and i mean a lot of uh tyrannical score so i'm gonna be chasing that this week because i haven't really done much on tyrannical weeks but yeah so pretty happy all right so we're getting good we're getting good that's two pieces of tier with two vaults all upgrades man looking good looking good the vault of greatness is looking great that's what you gotta put out in the world right you, tr you tell it amazing things, and you get amazing things in return. I will take this little loading break, though. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. It goes such a long way towards helping out the channel. What are your thoughts on the Inspiration Catalyst? Is it just too long? Like, it, to be able to get your first charge. That's the real question here. It, does it take too long to get your first charge of the Catalyst? My opinion is, yes it is. Prot Paladin. This is... Ooh. Was I too late? Oh, okay. Ew. What? Really? Why? Ew. Why? What did I do to you? I called you nice things, and I feel like I'm just being, like, two chests. I'm going to take the 405, because this is obviously going to become tier. I was really hoping for a piece of tier on the Paladin. I'm not going to lie. I want that two piece for that 6% verse. Um, so we're going to take the 405 chest plate. Um, we're going to be losing some much-loved haste. But we're going to be gaining... Yeah, we're going to be losing... Uh, it's not the stats that I want, but it is it, it is a thing. It's a direct item level upgrade, and it is going to be tierified. Um, Blood Decay. Blood Decay ended up doing a key last night. Um, it's been tough trying to get all the tanks in. Um, especially with 
uh, my current home life where I've got a lot of things going on, work and uh, other stuff as well. But I did manage to pre-record a bunch of videos, so my patrons have access to right now a uh, 17 Not Good Offensive Protection Warrior Breakdown video where I literally go through the entire run. I break down everything, so it is good for all tanks, but it is through the lens of a prot warrior. And uh, a State of Tanks for 10.0.5 where I think they have been for the last few months and where I think they're going. Uh, that My patrons have access to that now, but if you're just a YouTube supporter, I still thank you, but you will be getting those later this week. Um, I want to make sure I'm not in blood for this. or do No, I actually do want the Granith Tank Trinket. I actually do want that. Um, <clears throat> let's see what blood gets. I only got one key, so whatever I get. Oh, I did do some heroic rating! I totally forgot! I totally forgot. So we have 405 uh, Crit Mastery Leech Chest, but we also have 402 Haste Verse uh, shoulders, and you know what? I'm just gonna take the shoulders. I've already got a 405 that I can tier. Yeah, it's tertiary, but I mean, leech isn't the biggest tertiary stat for blood. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be going with those nice haste verse. I did forget I did some heroic rating. I only got the first couple bosses down. I was really hoping. Man, this is going downhill. Oh no, I'm so worried about warrior. Oh, I am so worried about warrior now. So warrior has three mythic plus options. Two heroic options and one mythic raid option. I am hoping to have access to the Aranog ring, the Broodkeeper ring, or just not total garbage. I'm kind of worried I expended my luck early on. Uh, my warrior does have 4P, so I'm not worried about that, but I am just looking for general upgrades. But, oh man, one of those rings would be huge. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. I can't look. I can't look. Can I look now? Can I look? Okay. Okay, what do I got? <sighs> Fucking. Alright, so we have 415 shields. Crit verse. We have 408 gauntlet tier, tier gauntlets. Uh, gl uh, gloves. I have 402, so that's not a big upgrade. 402 crit mastery cloak. 415 gloves. 415 belt and a strike twice at 418. I can't win. Like, I seriously, I can't win. I watch people every week open up like their mythic vaults in the guild. Man, I got a vault of whispers of the incarnate. Like I got the trinket and like there's like 10 trinkets in our raid. Fucking, I can't get it for shit. People get the ring every week. I can't see one of them. Like, bro, that feels so bad. I mean, I'm going to go with the weapon because I'm using a 411 version of it. Like, and 411 is higher than I can, like, 418 is higher than I can put up with Valor. But now I'm just mad that I even dumped, dumped the fucking Valor into the Strike Toys. Like, that, like, man, this, my luck has been atrocious on my Warrior. Although, I guess I can't say insanely atrocious because it is a weapon. Right, um, the 415 shield is good, but I, I have a 410, but it's crafted, and I just need to, finding somebody, like, finding a blacksmith that specializes in shields to recraft this has been actually just nightmarish, um, there's, like, nobody, uh, on my server that is into shields, so that's one thing I'm going to be doing there, but, man, that is woefully disappointing, um, I have my Frostfire belt made, like, you know, I have, like, I'm good to go, let's go, let's go, let's go, and I can't get shit to drop for me at all. I can't say that at all. So we'll do a quick warrior update. I have had, I've had some luck on my warrior. I've definitely had some luck. Um, currently I have a 411 Mana Grief Torch. I have a Windscar Whetstone uh, wet from Court of Stars. Uh, we're going to put this 418, uh, 418 on. I have a 4... 15 mythic decoration of flame so i'm very very happy there um you know i have a 402 grand enduring scale i can always pump into as well i do have the court of stars ring i still have i'm still rocking the 389 this actually does stupid amounts of healing the assembly's guardian ring stupid amounts of healing like i've got my 418 lariat uh my i need to find a recrafter for my defender to bring this up to you know 418 that's my goal 
And that's going to be my goal this week. I need to find a recrafter that can do that. Because uh, <laughs> I can't. I put all my money into weapons. Uh, stupidly. I All my knowledge into weapons. Pretty stupidly, I might add. Um, I totally screwed up my blacksmithing on this. Um, and then up next with my next concentrated uh, primal focus, which I think I only need six more, which will be easily gotten this week. Um, I am going to be getting the... I'm going to be putting it onto the unstable Frostfire belt and making this 418. So I'll have... This week I'll have a 418 Frostfire belt, a 418 shield, a 418 weapon. So I can't complain. I've got good trinkets. I mean... When I'm looking at this, I can't really be super sad. I've got good stuff. Right? It's just a matter of getting that good stuff into gear. If I'm willing to give up the Guardian Assembly's ring, mind you, I do have, and I did get to drop, uh, this Thunderous Downburst ring, which is 398 right now, but it's a little haste, big verse. And I'm not against this as stats because this is small crit. Uh, the, this is small crit and small haste with the absorb effect. But I would be losing something that gives out 10% of my healing in a dungeon. So that is because this does a lot. This actually procs a lot. This is a really, really good ring. And I just don't know what I want to do. I'm gonna have to do some simming. Um, I just got bit by Valor. So now I put everything in a strike twice, and now I kind of shouldn't have done that. But it is what it is. A 418 strike twice. I am not crying about that at all. That's actually really, really solid. That is an upgrade. We're good there. But that is it for the vault. Uh, Catalyst opens up next week. Ten, uh, next week is also the launch of 10.0.5 with the trading post and everything else. And uh, this week we have... Oh, we have a 17 Alcathar's Academy this week. Sanguine again? Ugh! Explode. Oh, man. Oh no, not sanguine and explosive. Oh no. <laughs> Have we we haven't had explosive yet this season, right? This is the first time. Oh god. I just realized the tree boss. I really hope all of those ads on the tree boss don't all spawn an insane amount of explosives. That's gonna be that would be nightmarish. Um Yeah, alright. Well not a terrible week. Not a fun week, but not a terrible week. This is a week that I will be happy that I will be done with by the end of the week, but I will probably be... I will be very happy for uh, priest healers, for druid healers as well. Uh, they all deal... Uh, Shadow Word Pain, Moonfire, all deal with explosives very, very well, as well as Frost Shock. Uh, wait, do Resto Shamans even have Frost Shock anymore? I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen many Resto Shamans around to be able to know, but yeah. So this is going to be a fun week of keys. Big IO for me because my I, my tyrannical IO is literal garbage. It's terrible. So I am going to be doing that, and I want to be pushing some higher keys this week. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there we go. Uh, have yourselves a good one. Thank you very much for listening. I got a lot of good content for you guys coming out this week, and uh, thank you for listening till the end. Thank you for my patrons for making videos like this happen, and happy tagging.